Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be answering some assumptions today. I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram and YouTube some assumptions you have about me. I've seen a few of them and let me just say some of them are pretty out there. But while answering them, I'm going to be getting ready. So I'm just going to prep my face and then start. Okay, while putting my sunscreen, I'm going to answer the first one that I saw, which is I assume you don't like Jason's new hair. Okay guys, so funny story, if you guys didn't know, Jason and I started dating three years ago when he didn't have hair. Um, basically he lost like a bet with his friend, so he had to shave all his hair off. And obviously he had like when we before started dating, he had obviously super curly hair like he does now since it's his natural hair. But um, it wasn't as long as it was when he just cut it. So I wasn't like too like, oh, I don't really care about it. Since his hair was so long, literally a few days ago and forever since then, I wasn't really, um, like when he first cut it, I was like, oh my God, like what the heck? But now I'm more used to it. So I wouldn't say it's like my favorite ever, but I also don't mind it. I mean, if he likes it, then whatever, that's what he likes. Um, I really did like his curls, so, but they'll go back, so who cares? I assume that you breastfeed your baby, guys. Yes, I do breastfeed still. She is 18 months old in literally five days. Literally five days. I'm so sad about it. Um, Babe, I still do breastfeed. I'm trying to wean her off of breastfeeding, but it's not really going so well. This mirror looks crazy. So it's not really going so well, but I have breastfed from the start and I'm hoping that I'll be doing that with all my babies. I mean, that's at least my plan. I assume you're pregnant. Girl, hell no, I am not pregnant. Um, I do not want to be pregnant until like three more years. Sometimes it makes me sad thinking about it because like Allura's gonna be five, no. She'll be four whenever she gets a sibling. And like if I do have a child in three um, years and that just makes me sad. I assume Alora is spoiled. Wow. Considering that she has a million things that I bought her. Um, and if you consider like spoiled going to the store every single time you go to the store and you buy her like three toys, then yes. Um, but I don't really think you can really like spoil a baby. Um, I don't know. But let me just do say, girl has so much things. And anytime I go somewhere, she already knows she's getting something. I assume you're tall, guys. If you consider 5'4 tall, then I guess. But everyone always tells me I'm like short. Um, I know people who, ew, how long has there just been like mush right here? But uh, I'm friends with this girl, Kaden. Girl's almost six foot. So to her, I'm sure. But I'm not really that sure. I feel like I'm at average height. I feel like the average, I thought that the average girl, like woman height was five foot six or like five foot eight or something. But I am five four. I've been five four for almost four years. I assume you would have more kids right now if you weren't for your age. That is 100% correct because I definitely would. If I was not 16 right now, I would already be pregnant, guaranteed. I would love to have more children now if I was old enough. I, it's not even that like I'm really worried. It's just, I, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I would love to have more children, but I feel like I'd like to be at least what you consider an adult, which would be 18 and living in my own apartment and whatnot before I have another child. Just so nobody can really like say shit to me. I mean, obviously I'm done my parents' house. Um, and like I pay for everything for Laura. I buy myself groceries. I pay for everything for myself, like all that. But I just want to be in an apartment. I'm covering you all this gross stuff on my face. I've been breaking out because anytime I wear makeup, I literally just don't even wipe off my face. I'm, I go to bed at like 9.30, 10 at night. I don't have time for that. I assume you never kiss Jason. That is so funny. That is literally so funny. He would say yes, but to me, um, well, 
I am more of like a words person. I would rather someone be like, you look so good today or just like tell me that like they love me or something rather than like touching like affectionate stuff. I assume you're not acting your age. Well, honestly, if you think about it, can't really act my age now. Um, obviously I'm still a teenager and I still do teenager things such as, actually I'm lying, I, I really don't. I don't even like hang out with people. But I'm still a teenager. Um, since I do have a child though, I have to act more mature. And if you really ask anybody in like my family, friends of mine or whoever, they would say that I'm more mature than my age, obviously. When I think about like, when I think about the age 16, like, oh my God, I'm 16. I don't think of like my, I don't know. I just think of like 16 year olds, like no. So to me in my head, I'm not really 16. I'm in my head, I think I'm 20, but um, my birth certificate would state that I'm 16. So <sighs> if you guys are wondering what I just put on my face, I put on the Charlotte Tilbury Floss Filter. For my eyebrows, I use the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. It's like tinted. And then I just outline my brows just because I like them to look like sharper or whatever. I don't like put anything on them besides the gel, but I like it. Hot in a bond, but you want all your hair blonde. I'm, my natural hair color is blonde, but yes, I do get highlights um, just to make my hair look blonder, not the dirty, because I just don't like dirty blonde color. When you got pregnant, which side was more supportive? You don't have to answer, I'm just wondering. So this is a question, and I've seen this actually a lot. Like, I think some people got confused. Con I think some people got confused when I said, ask me some... I think some people got confused when I said, like, leave some assumptions about me, and, like, some people left questions. But, um, I would say... Jason's side was more supportive just considering the fact that they never like really said it. I don't know. They they honestly, if I'm being completely honest, they weren't complete assholes to me. Um I I would be lying if I said so basically Jason's this is how I see it. <laughs> I look crazy right now, I've concealer but Jason's side of family was normal, nice, sweet, caring when I was pregnant. My side of the family, it's my dad's side and my mom's side. So like that's like my side together. So I would be lying if I said that some of my family weren't completely supportive because there are people who say they're supportive but they really weren't. And then on the, there's also people who were like completely supportive. So like example, my mom's sisters supported. Some people on her side weren't, but then it's like my dad's side, which is just a different story. So basically, short answer would be yes. I assume you were an A grade student. Okay, so basically, um, I became homeschooled my sophomore year, so which would be which was last year, but now I'm technically a senior because I'm like doubling up. So, oh, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I go over it with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, whatever it's called, Radiant Creamy. I don't know. But so basically the last year, my, my ninth grade year, I was pregnant. Um, it was like COVID, so like I didn't have to like go to school or anything. So that year was like the best grades I ever had. I did every single assignment. I did one not just because I wanted to do it for myself. Even before that, I, I will tell you, we're not my best. <laughs> listen to country. Okay, guys, I do not listen to country music. I listen maybe like three, three songs maybe. Like if it comes like Sam listening to the radio, or like someone plays it like Bluetooth, sure, I'll listen to it. But I would not go out of my way to just like type in some like country people music and watch it. I mean, and listen to it. And I saw another one, You Love Taylor Swift. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I like her music, but I'm not like a, oh my God, Taylor Swift dropped an album type of person. I'm really not like that with anybody. I don't really get super like, hyped over stuff like that. I'm more of a movie show person. Like, oh my God, there's a new season. Oh my God, they made a second movie to it. Like that's like more what I am. And if I'm listening to music guys, it is probably like some love songs or something. I just put powder under my eyes. So it kind of looks crazy now. I look like a ghost. But um, let's go to the next questions. You eat mac and cheese with a fork? I'm, I'd be lying if I say sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on my mood. And same with soup. Sometimes I'll eat soup with a fork. <laughs> I assume Laura is just your sister. Guys. I have like... I legitimately was pregnant. 
she came out of me. I was in the hospital. I was in labor for six hours. And then she came out of me. And then I went home the next day. I have, like, vids of me pregnant. and like, her moving in me and stuff. So. I assume you're secretly pregnant right now. No. Absolutely not. I assume you're a Christian. Um... So I was raised in like a Christian home. Of, all my family members are Christian. Um, the powder I use is Maybelline Fit Me powder, like the loose powder. And then I use this Rare Beauty like bronzer contour stick. It looks disgusting, but. And it's in shade Happy Soul. If that's even the shade. <laughs> so I was raised in a Christian household. Like I said, my family is Christian, like all my family members. Uh, not all of them, but the majority. So, this is how I see it. I believe in God. I pray. I... Whatever. Um, but I wouldn't consider myself really to have a religion. I don't remember what it's exactly called, but I know there's a name for it. Uh, so, I wouldn't say I'm like Christian. I don't have a religion, really. But, and I think that the reason for that is because... I, it was pretty, like, I feel forced upon me. I it was like, you don't go to church, you don't do this, you're in trouble. And so, like, for that, it was like, I didn't really, I feel, get the chance to learn to love the religion and get, like, really just, like, become a part of it for me. It felt very forced for me, and it just, I didn't like it. I assume that you have anxiety. I, I don't know. I don't think, I, I think everyone has a little anxiety, but I don't think like I really have like anxiety where like, I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know. Because like, I know people have anxiety and I know sometimes it's really bad. Like some people don't even like to go in public because of it and stuff like that. Like that stuff I'm totally fine with. But um, honestly, guys, I've realized lately. So if you don't know, I have like my permit and I can get my license in January. But with driving, I've only driven, I've driven quite a few times now I've been practicing more but the thought of me having to go in the car and drive it I start like getting scared I like I start shaking like my hands I start getting out sweaty like I feel like I'm gonna throw up it starts freaking me out but then once I'm actually in the car I'm driving I'm perfectly fine but it's like the thought of having to do it starts freaking me out and I don't really know like I don't understand why and it's like it's like almost where I'm like, I'm not even gonna, like, I don't even want to. Like, the other day I was like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Like, I have no idea. And I kept, can't, I kept saying to myself, I'm like, it's because I need more practice. Like, once I get more practice, then I'll be fine. Because, like, even when I'm driving, I don't even want to go past, like, 40. Like, that free smell, like, I have to go so fast. And the fastest I went so far was 53. And I'm like, I literally can't. Like, I was going, like, 15 under the speed limit <laughs> this one time. And I was like, <laughs> I have this beat up or I'm gonna get pulled over. I assume your glasses are fake, guys. I am on the gym blind. My glasses are broken, but I would get them. But I have contacts right here and like my contact solution and I have a whole pack of them. But no, I'm really blind. Like I, everything in front of me right now is blurry. Like the camera's blurry. So like, I don't even know like how I really look right now. But um, no, I'm blind. Mom gave birth to your baby. You're only 14. We aren't dumb. What? You don't let the negative energy affect how you are as a mother so no i don't um sometimes that it's hard for me to like i really cannot read comments on anything especially um like youtube shorts comments i cannot read them and if i do i just like start getting so angry because it's like every single time someone says something about me it's 99 percent not true so that's why i get mad because i'm like guys and like i've said it over and over again i'm like no like no 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 so when people keep saying that stuff to me i'm like this is so annoying but i've been better and i've been learning to just try to not care what people think but it's really hard for me just because so i'm so public like i'm so out there and sometimes it just makes me sad but i've never like cried over it or anything i assume from hearing your story there was a lot of things that were said to you and sometimes you still think about it but that is 100% true basically because if you guys have not seen uh, my recent video where I basically updated my story and I told you guys more things that I've like never said anything about that I just never talked about it's definitely true 
um there have been times even like recently i know a lot all this happened like it started two years ago but it's continued like till i was pregnant and then like a little after and stuff like that so for that time being like of that happening like now obviously it doesn't anymore because i'm not even like around those people so much but there's been times like recent like a week ago maybe two where i can still sit there and cry about it like if i read like text people said to me or like like in my family or listen to videos of them saying something about me i literally sit there crying this girl made an edit about it like a few days ago i was crying every single time i watched it and while making the video um like the updated version of my story oh my god sometimes when i was talking about it you would could you can hear like my voice start like breaking and i was like i can't cry i hate being judged for being a young mom yes i literally do there's so it's so stereotypical like being a young mom everyone stereotypes you because of like the crap they heard or like if you look it up on google and shit and it's like not every single young mom is like that not ev like trust me i know there are young moms who rely on their parents be like i want to go out watch my baby watch my baby this day this day this day i've had friends like that that like are young moms and that is the total opposite of me and it's just like please stop I'm actually really shy quiet and introverted okay that is like <laughs> that is very true i i've been told my whole life i'm a very shy person and i will admit it like um i i would honestly though i don't know if i'm introverted because i've heard that like introverts like to like be alone and crap and like be in a room by themselves and that's hell no i'm not doing that i would rather go out and hang out with people and talk to people even like going shopping that like gives me that just gives me some life right there like i just love seeing people out but i, I don't like talking to them though i think that's where like the shy part comes i just don't i don't like enjoy <laughs> just like talking to strangers wait you don't want a lord to become a teen parent and you want her to live a normal life that is 100 percent true i would never honestly wish anybody to become a teen parent especially as young as i was i think if you're 18 and you get pregnant you're an adult it's like <laughs> you can do adult things like <laughs> i don't know but um i would never really I, I would just never want that for my child you love the position you're at right now, although the road you had to go through was tough. I would say yes. Um, I don't really know like what you're like what in what context. I don't know if you mean like social media, like how it went, or like from the moment I got like pregnant, or like before then. Because honestly, like I know a lot of people think that even with social media, like it's not a job, it's not like real. And I feel, I mean, obviously it is like it, it's a real job. You have to sit there. You have to film you have to edit you have to post you have to take all that criticism that every single person says about you and i think it's really it's like a mental thing it's like you know once you put yourself out there first of all it's it's there second of all anyone can say anything they want and you have to not let it tear you down and i think that's like one thing that was really hard for me like there was a point where i really honestly thought of just stop like because i first started on tiktok so i was like i'm just literally not gonna post anymore like, i can't do it and then i was like you know, I've came this far and there's no reason to just stop just because people want to pretend that they know every single thing about me. You are happier now that you moved in with Jason. I would say yes, but like some things I miss because I I love like living here. I love having the help. I love just being here in general. But there's things I miss such as like, I know, that, I know it might sound stupid, but I literally miss going on the swings. Like, <laughs> I miss going on a swing so bad and I don't because like across my house there was like a swing set place that whatever and I would go there every single day with Alora besides when it was like winter snowing and I would sit there on those swings I would let her play I would play with her and that's just one thing I miss because and then sometimes I just miss being able to like just escape not necessarily escape but just like be by myself in my own room and have like my own space then i'm like i love here well i can't find my clear brow gel which i gel my brows up with after so i'm just gonna use this again I feel like you're missing out on your life because you had a baby so young 
honestly guys i really don't like i really never have felt like that there have been times where like i the only really thing i missed was like sleeping i just missed sleeping but now i've gotten so used to just getting up so like i don't even care but i've never really missed doing anything i feel like i i did a lot even before i got pregnant and like the whole pregnancy thing really made me think about like my life and everything like that so i don't really, i don't really think there's that much to miss i assume jason was your first and only boyfriend so jason was not my first and only boyfriend um before him like obviously you're like young and you have like stupid little silly relationships with people um i would consider like two people no i would consider one person before dating jason like a actual boyfriend that i had um, I'm not gonna like name names. I assume that you're very organized. <laughs> I try to be guys. I really try. I'm not that good at it. <laughs> um, if you mean like clean wise, I try to be clean. I try to clean my room. I try to do this and that, but I really just feel like there's not that much time in the day. I need to like clean anything, especially Laura's room. I'll clean that girl's room 20 minutes later. It looks the same right before I clean it. And I'm like, oh my god. I assume your parents are still mad at you. Guys, my parents are not mad at me from when... Um, I would not say that my mom was very mad at me when I was pregnant. I would say that she was upset for the first, like, you know, like, a little while. Maybe like a month or so. But since then, no i assume your favorite food is watermelon that is disgusting that is literally disgusting i hate watermelon i hate everything watermelon watermelon flavor nasty i can eat watermelon gum but like it i would not go to a store and be like i want some watermelon gum someone said i assume that you vape guys i did not vape i would be lying if i said i had not tried before but that was before i had a laura um i have friends who vape but just, just not for me. I assume that you live with Jason's mom. I do not live with Jason's mom. I live with Jason's dad. Um, I've said this multiple times. Jason's dad has this house. Um, Jason's mom lives like in an apartment by herself. So I live here with Jason. Um, obviously it's just bigger, more room. Laura has her own room. We didn't have ours. So no, I do not live with his mom. Okay, well that is all of the assumptions I'm going to be answering in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and just watching it get ready for the day. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, I don't know if I said this, but Laura is napping right now. It is literally 12 o'clock, so I'll just on this video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you're going to do. And I will see you guys in the next video on Saturday. Bye.